three o'clock in the morning. I've got all my clothes. I've got my bag together. I've got, I'll go and pick up my coach Scott now. So let's get on the road and let's do this. So today I'm at Gatwick Airport. Um, I'm going to Germany for the Stuttgart World Cup. I'm competing all around and I'm up against some really big names. Um, I'm just going to have some fun out there, enjoy the competition. And uh, yeah, been out for a year, so see where I rank against the rest of the world. been a really eventful morning uh, we got off the plane and went to the hotel and uh, we've been told that the hotel is fully booked and there's no room um, so we've left our bags there and we're hoping that obviously once the guests from last night have checked out that there will become some room available because um, there was a reservation made uh, but we left our bags at the hotel and we went to go get we went to go get a drink and a bite to eat but none of us had any money on us and we'd already ordered so uh, we had to run after the girls that were leaving for training and borrow some money uh, we'll make sure to get that back to them but um, we're at the training arena now the Porsche arena we've got our accreditations um, and we're going to get some food and we're going to do some training afterwards My weekend hasn't gone entirely as planned. Uh, my podium training went really well. Uh, done some good double pack suits, done good everything. Uh, the whole travel day, Scott wasn't feeling well and kind of come to the end of it, I, I personally have never seen him in so much pain. I told him to go to the hospital. I didn't really hear from him that night. I come back to the hotel room, I went to sleep, I sorted my stuff out ready for the competition. I got a text at six o'clock in the morning saying, I might not be making it there for the start, possibly not even the whole thing. So I went there, I did the hour warm up and all the other coaches were so friendly, everyone was willing to help, um, everyone was offering to take me around, chuck me up and do whatever. Um, and I warmed everything up and actually it went really well, but I didn't know the full extent of why Scott was in hospital. Once I'd withdrawn, I went and spoke to the competition organisers. I actually found out the full extent of the thing. I didn't realise in the morning that he had to have an operation and I didn't find out until I'd already withdrawn. I just knew that he wasn't feeling well and he went to hospital and didn't come back. So yeah, I, I withdrew. I went straight to the hospital and um, I spent the day looking after him. I took up some things. I took up some like a phone charger and some spare clothes and stuff. Um, he's doing all right. He's up and about. He's talking. Um, but we might have to stay here a few days. Uh, the doctors in hospital aren't willing to let him fly home, which was meant to be Sunday night at eight, nine o'clock. So we're staying an extra night. And we're gonna try and get the train home tomorrow, but um, we're gonna see how it goes because the doctors ideally would like him for a couple more days. But if we go home and he seeks treatment when we get home, then it might be a possibility that we are allowed to get the train back. Made it home from Germany, but it was a very long trip. We cancelled the, the flight and we got the we got the train from Germany to France and then the Eurostar back home. But then I had to go back to Gatwick Airport because my car was still there. Whew. Scott's feeling a lot better as well. We had to go straight to the hospital. We had a uh, couple of antibiotic drips and stuff uh, going through. Uh, he's back in the gym now. 
obviously he, he's still kind of got the, the cut and the scar and he's got other plaster because it's not allowed to be stitched up yet because all the infection needs to come out first so it needs to heal on its own accord but it's great to have him back in the gym and I think I did a good job looking after him. It's a bit of a repayment for all the times that he's had to take me to hospital and stuff. I know this was a slightly different vlog, uh, not a lot of gymnastics but uh, that, that, that was from causes that couldn't be helped but again really appreciate you watching and I'll see you again in the next vlog.